In today's video, I'm going to show you how I like to brew filtered iced coffee. It's a super refreshing way to enjoy pour over coffee, but iced. So this is also called a flash brew or an iced flash brew. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to weigh out our coffee beans. Now for this recipe, we're going to be using 20 grams of uh, filter roasted coffee beans. Now comparing this recipe to a traditional pour of a style coffee recipe, we normally use a grind size that both extracts very well balanced but it also needs to uh, have some resistance so that we get a really good contact time when the water and the coffee are in the brewer. But for this recipe, because we're using the Hario V60 switch, we can now control the flow rate. So instead of relying on having a slightly finer grind size just to hold back the resistance and to slow down our pour over, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna grind it much more finer just for the taste and for the actual extraction. And then we're gonna control this by pressing the switch and I'm gonna show you that later on. But for now, we're gonna grind on the Commandante and we're gonna do about 15 to 20 clicks. For this coffee in particular, we're gonna do 18 clicks. So that was 18 clicks. We're just going to do a spray of RDT. Give it a quick shake. And especially when you're grinding with RDT, you're going to want to make sure that all of the coffee is now in the grinder and none of it's left in that dosing cup. Okay, so now that we've ground our coffee, we're up to the next stage. So this is the Hario switch. We're going to have the Hario switch in the closed position for this. We're going to be using the Hario Z brand filters. Um, these are quite generic. Um, they're similar to the Hario uh, O2 100 pack, the ones that come in those pink packaging. Um, but uh, yeah, this is all that we have for the moment, so we're going to use those. Now to set this up, fold the mountain of the filter over, open it up, and then we're gonna place it in our dripper, just like this. And then with some hot water, we're going to set our filter. And before you do this, please make sure that this, uh, that the switch is closed. Um, and if you're not super uh, certain about this, what you can do is just have it uh, on top of a cup to minimize any risk. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just going to play around a little bit and adjust it. Sometimes it needs to be pushed down a little bit, but to be honest, it's fine. Now we're going to place it on top of our cup or our glass that we're going to drink out of, and we're going to press the switch down, and this demonstrates how the Hario switch works. Um, now that we've set our filter, what we're going to do is we're going to place our coffee grounds in the filter. We're going to then close our switch and we're going to get rid of this water. Now in our server, what we're going to do is we're gonna add our ice. So first tear it off. And I just broke my server. Don't you love that? on camera too. So yeah, be super careful when you are dropping ice into your glass server. <laughs> Cut. And we're back guys, sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties, but we now have a server full of 150 grams of ice. We've also got a Hario V60 switch dripper, and this has got 20 grams of ground coffee. Now, the way that this is gonna work is a traditional pour over, let's just say we're gonna use a one to 15 ratio. So for a traditional pour over, we're going to have 20 grams of coffee mixed with 300 grams of water. This is then gonna filter through and our yield is gonna have around 250 
or 255 grams or so worth of brewed coffee. Now the way that this works is we're actually replacing half of the water that would have been in this dripper with the coffee with ice. So to counteract this, we're going to do a couple of different things to make our coffee still taste just as strong and vibrant and have all that extra flavor that you would expect in a pour over. The way we're going to do this is by two things. First of all, the brew time. Because of the switch, we're able to change the brew time. And second of all, the grind size. So like I said, we've got a, we've got a finely ground uh, grind size and we're going to be using uh, 95, 96 degree water temperature and we're going to aim for around two to three minutes brew time. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we've teared out our scales. We've got our Hario switch in the closed position and we're going to start pouring. So as I said before, we're just going to go in for 150 grams, but to start us off, we're going to bloom with around 100 grams or so. Cool. Give it a quick shake for some agitation and level out that bed. Now at the 40, minute, 40 second mark, we're going to continue pouring until we've reached our desired brew weight of 150 grams. Great, 152.4. Now while this is brewing, we're not gonna touch it, we're just gonna leave it, and we're gonna leave it until two minutes and 30 seconds. At that point, we're now gonna press the switch and we're gonna watch the magic happen. All right, we're now at two minutes and 30 seconds. Press the switch, release the valve, and let your coffee flow into the server. And we can see now it's just hitting those ice cubes. And also because we've ground a little bit finer, it's gonna take just a little bit longer to draw down completely. If we were using a coarser grind size, this would be a lot quicker. And of course, this does also depend on the coffee itself. Now that's taken just around 30 seconds to complete draw down. We're going to close the switch and remove the V60. And now what we're left with is still 150 grams of ice as well as our 150 or so grams of coffee. That took three minutes to brew. And so now we're gonna let it sit for another half a minute to a minute. And that should be enough time to completely cool down your coffee. And there we have it guys, our freshly brewed iced coffee. We've let it sit for a couple of minutes and the ice has melted to a point now where the entire beverage is nice and cold and refreshing. Um, and yeah, let's give it a taste. So this tastes super, super crisp. It's got that beautiful acidity that you can expect to find in pour over coffee, but it's cold and it's definitely not diluted at any point either. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see other videos like this. Here at Basic Barista, we are a coffee equipment retailer. So we sell all sorts of coffee equipment, such as the Hario V60 switch, as well as some other equipment that you've seen in this video. We're also going to include a super detailed recipe on how you can make this coffee down in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Until next time, happy brewing, and we'll see you guys later.